they all you, yes yes classes here's class yes and look you can see i lost it smash brothers to geronimo yes and sorry i'm a little bit delayed oh mateo's here uh thank you mateo for showing up uh and waiting uh just a little bit delayed today because of uh oh i was delayed uh can you give me my thing back please all right back control all because of geronimo wanted to say he beat me at Smash Brothers. Projector's great, thank you. It, there was some slight issues we dealt with, but we figured it out. Um, all right. Lower your resolution on your. We fixed it. All right, here we go. First things first. Where did you get send it to me, Jason? Uh, that one right there. Okay. I'm gonna open this. Through you, <laughs> All right, we're couldn't load. Cool. Is the one I just seen? Yeah, probably. Let's download anyway. All right, while it downloads, uh, let's talk about. Here's the reminder. Yeah, why not? Two gigs. Who cares? Um, probably you'll play better that way too. Okay, here's a reminder to everyone at home and in the class. Green screen assignments are due next week. Okay. Have to turn them in by next week. So for sure, we got we watched Nick's, which is good. He, uh, he had some notes. I gave him some notes. If you want to show it to me early, I'm for sure going to be happy to tell you uh, what you can do to improve. Braulio, can you send me the link that you sent Grant to your video? Um, I'd like to watch it in class as well. I have notes for you, unless Grant gave you notes already. We judged the film festival showcase uh, on Monday and uh, our judges uh, are still in the process. One more judge has to finish, but- uh, Did you see uh, the one I was in? The one you were in. With David. With David. That's right, they didn't turn it in for that one. They're gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Oh, I did see that one, yes. <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> no, no, no. It was for the 72 hour with David Yiddis, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No. They turned it in. Yeah. They turned it in. <laughs> What's up, Cameron? Lost, watched a lot of Cameron over the last couple of days, so um, because I'm a big nice cam fan. Well, you gotta follow the live stream, right? Wait, um, is that no, but actually we were like I said, we were judging um the film showcase, uh, and we have two of the directors of shows here, and I wanted to go over things that I saw. We're gonna watch their films. And then potentially give them some feedback, which uh, I'm not sure what Grant told you, Jason, but I, I have to say uh, um, I'd seen your film a couple different times, right? And it definitely was yeah. different this time. Yeah. Um, That's a nice way to put it. <laughs> uh, well, we'll talk about who's in class, Cameron asks. Well, it's me here and, and Jerry is here, of course. Um, and we got Nick and, and Jason and Kellen and Braulio are all in class currently. Uh, why? I hope you win a Gabby too. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, Grant and I will probably say this at the showcase, but this is the most competitive and probably yeah. best quality year that we've gotten. Uh, that being said, in that case, no, I don't I don't say that every well, I mean, it could be the best going forward. But I will say that because it's so the films are so good and high quality, it means it's also probably the most competitive. Uh, in fact, if I were to spoil the winners, I could not currently spoil the winners because I the judges who have judged, um, the consensus is not there yet. There's no 
There, there. I think potentially a tie, if not one, is ahead of the other, and the judge could tie something else. There's only one category that really has a definitive answer as yeah, of right now. November. November will not have Gabby Awards. It'll just be a showcase, so no awards there. So no for the uh, oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to talk about politics, um, but. Yeah. Why is Cameron asking that question? He's not going to tell. <laughs> what is the category that's been decided? Well, I can't tell you that. I'm not going to tell you any of them. Uh, but I, I will say that I think as soon as the last judge uh, judges, and it, they will be judging tonight, we'll know all of the answers, hopefully, um, or we'll have to go into our tiebreaker protocol. Um which will be fun. Hey, Morty's here. Michael, what's up, Michael? Um, uh, yeah, you, you're you going to win Best Picture, Nick, yourself. Just Nick is nominated for Best Picture. But the nominees will be out sooner rather than later. Probably tomorrow if we ever. We announce the, the nominees. And then you have to come to the film showcase to find out the winners. We encourage everyone to be nominated. You get to see Jason's name in every category. <laughs> uh, potentially. No. I mean, probably not best actress, but uh, yeah, actually, or best <laughs> at best. You will you be nominated for Gone Fishing? Your role in Gone Fishing? Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. Um, but I will say the categories are very uh, good. Okay, we have Jason's film. I'm going to share my screen. So bear with me when this doesn't work like it normally does. We're going to share sound. We're going to optimize for video clips. We're going to say share. Okay, there's my screen. Let's open up here. All right, let's just double check the sound so I won't go crazy. That should be it. Input, output. What did we do last time? What did we do last time so they could hear the sound? It should just be this, right? Yeah. All right. I want one of you at home to turn your mic on and say, Tim, we can't hear anything. It's just the time code. It's, it's an hour right here. It's just your time code. If you can't hear anything, please... For the love of Pete, someone say, Tim, we can't hear anything. Pete and Pete. All right. I'm hearing nothing here, Geronimo. I can't hear anything. Um, your output should be... Um... All right. Oh, no, we are having issues fine. already. Nothing ever works for me. Tim, um, but I can't hear It should anything. be this one, right? The HDMI out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's going on over there? Is that switched? Yeah. Yeah, you're not on me. I'll crank it up. I got I hear nothing. There you go. Crank it up, bro. All right. Now we got sound. Stop living. Uh all right. Here we go. Uh it's such a sore loser. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's take a look. Be thinking critically what you think of this piece. Is there supposed to be audio right now? Yeah, we can't hear anything. I can't hear anything. <laughs> All right. Okay. There we go. Good to know. They can't hear nothing. All right. Damn, I'm looking majestic, though. You are, right? All right. Let's stop our share and double check. All right. Let's share our screen. Share sound is on. All right. Stereo, advanced. Let's look at this. Computer audio. Computer audio. Computer audio. Share. Share my screen. Computer audio. Share. Are you guys seeing my screen? I uh, think... no. What are you seeing? Just you. Oh my gosh, that's worse. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're sharing computer sound. Okay. Stop share. Oh, you can't share both of them, no? Uh, let's see. Basics. All right, sorry, just do quick time. Just take quick time. All right. And that should be both, both of them. We're going to do quick time. 
Which one's that? Where? Oh, right here? Right here? No, with the movie bed. Oh, right there. Okay. Can you guys hear this? I love you too, honey. You're the most yes. incredible person. All right. Let's start over. One more time with feeling. I love how this works every time. All right. It's almost like I'm a video professional or something. Okay. Here we go. Big fan of movie uh, park. Oh, see, now, hopefully they can't see this. Emily, I love you. I love you too, honey. You're the most incredible person I've ever met. I'm overwhelmed by you. We've known each other for three years now, and I've known nearly the entire time that I love you and that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Emily, will you marry me? something I need to tell you. Yeah? What? You know I love you, right? Yeah. What's this about? I'm positive that I love you and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. But are we sure this is a good time to be getting married? Emily, are you getting nervous? No. Not about us. <laughs> I'm just not sure this is the best time. We both have two years of college left, and we don't have Honey, the money to. We love each other. We know that we want to spend the rest of our lives together. And nothing else really matters. It'll all work out as long as we're together. Yeah. You're not scared that we're going nope. to. So, I just threw up. I know. Do you think you have the flu or something? No. Are you? Yeah. How do you know? Well, your test results are in, and uh, I'm afraid you have a type of blood cancer. It's called Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's stage four. What does that mean? Well, 
There's no easy way to say this, but it might be necessary to end your pregnancy in order to fight this. This is where I proposed to mommy. It's where I asked mommy to marry me. I miss mommy. I miss her too, honey. Do you remember when I talked about where she went? Oh, hi, mommy. Hi, guys. <laughs> How did it go? Today was a good day. Okay. All right, we'll pause right there. Okay, let's stop share. <laughs> All right. To like, you know, the yeah. Okay. <laughs> I butchered yeah. the egg. Um, all right. We can see the chat that they were doing commentary. Okay, so Jason's our director and the editor. Um, and there's some notes uh that we want to talk about. Actually, I'm gonna share my screen. We'll uh <laughs> yeah, Doctor is so blunt. I, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, I have to say I was really happy with. Um, that scene, I think that scene works really well. Your edits that you made of it, um, it was supposed to be two minutes longer, but no, it kept crashing. I spent thirty days on that. <laughs> okay, on on the the thing. Yes. I mean, this is not this like this scene worked good for me. It was supposed to be longer, but I had to cut Diana's part a lot faster. Because they're and push it in because there was a monitor and it had tracking dots on it. Yeah, I know. The tracking dots weren't working. Yeah. So no. I was like, okay, I just have to. Yeah, when I saw that, <laughs> tracking dots suck, man. Those are like huge sucks. But for the most part, I, I'm happy with this scene. I think this scene works pretty. It needs to be longer. Pretty. It does? I, Why? I, it needs more time to breathe. It's almost like my instinct here is uh, I'm afraid you have a type of blood cancer. It's called Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's stage four. Okay, well, I don't think you need the effect. I think it's good. I think her acting's good. What I would have done, what I would consider doing here is, does Diana say more stuff, right? Like she's talking, does she say anything? She says the um, how are you feeling? Okay. Um, and then she says fine. And like you you gave the note saying it just kind of seemed weird. Yeah. Do you agree with that? I agree, Why? but I'm saying what if you took you add this like ringing effect, which I think is really effective in this, but what if you like took like muffled muffled audio, okay. like the audio gets like really really big, like how are you really? And then it rings up and then she nods and cries. Like this is this is like Sierra's like main area of performance. Um the what flash what is that? Okay. Start breaking down. That, that oh no no no, I think that worked too. I didn't I, like that at all. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> oh like you 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 took away from her performance. Yeah, I don't think that's where you took away from her performance. I think the end scene is where that is the most butchered. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't like the eyebrow. I, like, 
the eyebrow is like it's six years later and she's just in chemotherapy or did her eyebrows not grow back if she was still getting the treatment so that's what you're saying it's a good day she didn't okay I I never thought for once that her eyebrows were an issue the other times I watched it. It seemed fine to me. I know it's probably, I felt like to me, I'm like the VFX to remove the eyebrows are why you cut this down so much. Be no. Okay. Well then maybe that's the case. I think the pacing of this scene is way too fast. You need little moments. It, it, uh, I mean, Cameron's performance here is he's playing sad. Yeah. That's where I asked mommy to marry me. I miss. I I mean, does Evie have any moments where she's just looking at the camera or like, or I where she's that. looking at him, where she's not talking, and it's like a neutral face even? Because because if we go from sad to neutral, we interpret sad. Yeah. That's the thing. There just needs to be beats here. Like this yeah. this yeah. thing is so rapid, quick that there's no beats at all. Like even like you need. Remember when I talked about where she went? Oh hi, mom. Me. There needs to be a beat of like a close up of her face, just like looking. You could take it from somewhere else, looking sad, and then go, Oh, hi, mommy. Because you need the audience needs to process, like, Oh, it's sad. And then the joke, Oh, hi, mommy. I think this, like, that you, you know, you gave her the note of like, Okay, going. Um, you don't like the family hug at all? I felt like it was too cheesy. That's the reason why I cut it. But uh, I, 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 that I think so there's no like, like, what if it's like, how did it go? Today was a good day. Cameron going. Yeah, you know. I mean, you what you want people to cry? I think that the I think that might work better. I mean, honestly, if you think it's cheesy, I it just felt really rushed. Like, boom, now we're out of it. I do, it it yeah. just so quick, like give like it's a rom com. You cheesy is what it's about, right? Like it's the ro romance that you need that I think is is cheesy, uh, or or could potentially there. The other ones that I would and I I mean I was with Grant when we watched, so he may be parroting some of my conversations. Um, this is just a general thing. I don't think your time cards are necessary. Like six years later, I think I think you should consider instead of dissolving, like I like this one where it goes to black and comes back up. That's good. I think the other ones you have cross dissolves over, right? <laughs> okay, I kind of like that one to be honest. But what if it fades down and fades up? Black black or white or something that like helps show the passage of time we so as editors we know this is a good indicator you use the dissolve to do what no, no clock wipes what are you talking about geronimo um no a dissolve when you use a dissolve in your movies that is telling our audience this is a patch passage of time time has passed so just using the dissolves i don't know if we need six months She's pregnant. Like we can do that in our head. Three the two years. days and three day weeks later are the ones that like throw me. Okay. Like, why does this have to be two days later? Yeah. It, why could it just be a dissolve? And then it's, we realize, oh, it's later. And they're talking about, oh, you still want to marry me? You know, maybe they're engaged for a year. Who knows? And then it's three weeks later. And it's like, okay, well, we can even interpret like, they don't really say anything in this conversation, but we could interpret this is after the wedding. Because because now they have a shotgun wedding, right? Like, I don't think you need. So my point is, no. I personally, I mean, you could do it if you want. It's a personal preference. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it adds anything to your story. Mm -hmm. Um because like also when she's, pre you know, now she's pregnant, we get, oh, okay. Yeah, it's sometimes with, yeah. within, you know, probably she's not fully yeah. pregnant, but yeah. she's definitely that. Also, I did notice that like, like, especially on this one, your font just like hard cuts off in the middle of a shot. Right. Yeah. Not a copy and paste. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a mistake. Uh, if you're going to leave it on, figure that out, fix that or have it dissolve off. Um, I, yeah. And I'm pretty happy with this scene. 
I'm pretty happy with this scene. The only minor edit I might consider is uh, why do we have to watch Cameron walk all the way from like pacing wise? This is cool. I'm happy with that. But why can't we just jump cut him to right here? You know what I mean? Like, do I need to see this much or am I supposed to be watching her reaction? Like she's looking nervous. Maybe that's the case. Do you have a close up of her? There is. Because I would maybe, yes. I would maybe then go from the egg to the close up of her, like considering, then cut to Cameron right here. Because really, the problem is for me in this shot is she's nervous, but she's not the focus of the shot. The movement of the shot is Cameron. And now I'm watching a guy that's out of focus walk around a really giant island um, and come in here, uh, get here. How was the coloring throughout the whole I was happy with it. Okay. I got no critiques. Did Grant say anything about the coloring? He said on the darker scene. Uh, he said that he didn't like how it looked. Uh, it, he didn't see that she was crying. Oh, yeah, maybe this, the blacks do feel, I mean, up here it looked fine. On the monitor, like on the computer, if you come and look at my computer monitor right here. Like, oh, okay. So yeah. that, I mean, if I turn my thing fully up, maybe bring up the blacks a little bit. Uh, um, I had it more exposed. You know, I was working in a uh, red gamma, white gamma to a RE uh, yeah. uh, color science. And, and so Diana I, feels blown out, to be honest, uh, okay, comparatively. Yeah. yeah. Like um, a lit, just a little bit is probably because she's wearing all white. Probably, um, yeah. So what I was doing is I was using an RE color science to be able to have like more of the other kind of blacks. Mm -hmm. And so I ended up converting it the day of sending yeah. it because it was just, I was noticing yeah. that it didn't look right at certain parts of like sit, them sitting at the, the dining yeah. room. I was seeing like a, a flicker thing. And I was like, why is that? And I was seeing the compression on her face and the, the, the skin tones weren't out yeah. right. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to change what, it back. What I do want to say, uh, the especially with a romantic comedy or something like this, the pacing matters. It's those little moments, like the beats, like you felt like, let's just get it to the end. The last scene feels like, oh, it's too long. I don't want, I want to be out of it. And like, it, we lose all the emotional punch. Yeah. Uh, my wife watched it and her comment was, uh, she felt like the final scene, Cameron and um sierra had no chemistry and she's like it was really weird because he, she thought the scene where she's n nervous about getting married they have the most amount of chemistry like it, it it's so it's really pacing is what it, is it she's like i believe they're a couple up until that last scene mm -hmm. so okay. it's beats it's breaths it's what you can do I, I really cut it down to be, it was 7.20 before, that's 6.30, but that's with credits, like a 30 second. Credit. Sure, sure. So um, I cut it down a minute. I think you, I mean, I think if you add 15 seconds, it yeah. like would make the difference. Yeah, I believe so too. It would make the difference and look for things in their eyes, mm -hmm. look for things in their breaths yeah. and a little bit. I know maybe you're cutting around my daughter or Evie a bunch, but- those are going to be less like you You need to pull moments there too. It's just so like shot out of the camera. Now, I mean, even uh, I miss mommy played really quickly. And after that, I saw my head turn twice. Well, Cameron, you're watching yourself. Uh, obviously, that's what we all do. Like I watched uh, Blueberry and all I could watch is myself in the scenes. So that's one of the problems of being an actor. Of course, being an actor and a narcissist. Tronimo, what the heck? <laughs> He's like photoshopping a thing. Okay, Braulio, did you send me your link? Any, well, actually, sorry, I said my critiques. Anybody here in class have a note about unforeseen because Jason's going to do a round of revisions, but please note that the film was judged on this cut. So even if it comes out and you watch and been like, wow, awesome. Well, I mean, 
yeah, I mean, maybe that's my, so I said, I said, lose that because my initial instinct was like, okay, he cut this so quick because the eyebrows were a factor. <laughs> you could, okay, I, okay. You know, I want to get technical. You could see that I did the eyebrows. There's one shot. There, the eyebrows. I did it in like, and less than like 30 minutes. You choose what, what shot do you think? Well, you I can, I, I still think it's cool. I just, well, I saw her eyebrow. I just thought like, what, you what know, shot? You guys did it for real. I didn't even show up for Iron Man. I was like, so is it like both shots? Yeah. Took a, a part of your cheek for a couple of times. Oh, okay. And then just give it over to you. Yeah. 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 Ye
to throw up. I know they said it was a little weird with the focus. Really? Okay. Okay. I, I, I know. I, I know I, about I, the I door. Clean that up. But it, it really? threw me off a little. So what happened? It's a... Uh, no, oh, I want. Well, this is fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's on a Saturday. Oh. Yeah. It makes me on a Friday. No, it's always a Saturday. Yeah. Well, That's why you don't come. That's why I've always been here because there was. Used to be on no, you've never been here one time. I've been here. I've been I've been I'm in a like picture. In freaking like. No. Like, I was there. Carson City or Kiowa. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So yes, we're gonna watch. This one's much, we're going to wait for it to download. So yeah, there, okay. You said, let's take a look uh, then since I'm killing time uh, while it downloads, um, assuming it's still downloading. Yes. Okay, great. Okay. We got fast internet here. So let me share my screen one more time. All right. Let's look at it here. And we said there's a focus problem. Yeah, so um, it's her going to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Right there, there. yeah okay, look, we can see already that no, it's... I, I wanted it out of focus, but Jonathan focused it, and so I tried it for it and focus. Yeah, that, okay. oh. It yeah, it definitely, okay. Yeah, seeing it now. Cut it and where the door closes. Can't hear it. Oh, really? I never heard it one time. Yeah. Oh, while this while it's focused on the door. Yeah. Did you see how that graphic just dropped off though? Yeah. Were you there at the shoot? All right. I think that's just more like. So, um. I mean, for a young couple, they should get the nice. Yes. Um, so great job. I thought, I, I think that this is, uh, I think this is one of Cameron's stronger performances too. I think he's really good in it. I think Sierra is really great in it too. Um, yeah, but uh, here's, here's the problem with Sierra is Southern bliss isn't in the showcase and that's a big showcase for her. So, um, uh, that's all considered. Remember, the actors aren't judged based off of one performance. The actors are based off of um, every performance. So the actors who do more get considered like, hey, there's a mo oh, what's so good is it's range. It's not just like one okay. best performance because you can also take in and be like, hey, this actor, you, well, that's how I judge it. Yeah, um, the other judges may judge it based off of like what's their best oh, performance. That's fine too. Um, but I usually go like because the films are so short. Good in the other one too with uh, uh, no clothes. Clothing optional. Yeah, Cameron's funny in that one too, and he's gonna be in some other things that uh, uh, he's got. He's definitely shows off his range. So is Cameron nominated or not? I don't know. Uh, I can't, or I do, but I, I can't say. And I can tell you, text me. Geronimo knows. Why do you know Geronimo? Yeah, I can't really get grants. Uh, no oh, he he hacked grants uh, <laughs> thing and knows. But um, uh, I don't think there's enough actors for me not to be at least <laughs> nominated. Well, Cameron, that's the sad part. Is that's not true at all. There are. Uh, there are enough actors in all of the all of the 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 movies, um, and there are some actors that didn't get the nomination, right. and and because this is the most, uh, uh, it's the most no, this is the most uh, sure what's the heart? Oh yeah, and Cameron. Yeah, Cameron, you're uh you're in gun fishing also, so that's more range of you, Cameron. So, um, uh, but we'll see. Uh, it, I can't. I just say your name. Ooh, it's just how often do you shave, Tim? How often? Yeah, like, like once a week, maybe. So how long would it take you to get like someone with you? A beard? Yeah. Uh, like, like Brawlio? 
Yeah, like a little bit more, a little bit more. A little bit more? Yeah. I, I don't know, like a month probably. Yeah, Mine doesn't go that August. fast. So I want to do the, a, a castaway parody. A castaway parody. Yeah, okay, yeah. good. Okay. Am I still sharing my screen? Probably not. Okay. Let's uh let's pull up. It's down almost downloaded. <laughs> okay, hold on, Cameron. We'll look to see what Cameron said. All right. Okay. You know what? We gotta watch this first. We got to share this first, everybody. All right. We have a green screen assignment, everyone. And of course, if you're at home, drop drop me a link in the, the, the chat. I have huge range. Dude with a little beard. Dude without a beard. Yeah, that is range. Uh, honestly, you should have asked Jason to add, give you wrinkles or gray your hair. I in was post. planning on doing that, but I wasted too much time. Yeah, that. yeah. yeah. No, he looks significantly different. Um, uh, uh, hold on. We're going to watch this green screen. Christmas show from 2016. I, no, okay. We're good. We're good. <laughs> we're good. I know which one. It's Nick, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's watch this one. Tell me if there's no sound. This is one of the green screen assignments. Know how to <laughs> okay, what did we think? Positive. No changes? <laughs> Nothing? Yeah, I could have used I, I'm going to ride the worm. Uh, anybody at home have a critique of the green screen project? Obviously, you can have fun with that. I thought, Nick, good job. Um, yeah, I, I did bring up that last week, and I love when my suggestions don't get taken. But yes, uh, uh, let's uh, let's share, and that's fine. Let's share and just look at it. All right, so here's the big problem, right, is look at the – so the problem is it's not a good green screen because you can mess – did you mess with the pedestal? You could try to pedestal to get this, but this gray that's around the feet area here is actually green shadow. It's the shadow of the creature being projected onto the green screen. Um, and you can, using the pedestal, you could remove this, or I said the easiest thing enough is scale up the monster so we don't see his feet. Um, and this monster, this monster is better. That monster is better because at least where he's walking, it looks like he, the picture. It looks like he's on the ground. Whereas when we get to this Kong thing, he's just. It's supposed to be done on the green screen because it's a separate shadow. Oh, it's like this dust coming off of him. Yeah, when he's walking. Sense. All right. Well, okay. All right. Well, here's the problem with Kong: is your picture you chose? He's just walking. He's like walking on air, right? Like if we look at this, we watch his feet. At least with the desert that you picked, it looked like he was on that plane. This one is just like cityscape or whatever. So I would make him bigger and crop it out. That was is what I would do. Like, like what you're doing right here. 
look, we don't see their feet because it's cut off. Um, and of course, obviously you didn't make these characters. Uh, we, when we see when this guy jumps, right, what happens? His shadow shows up for a little bit. Can we adjust that? Is this guy see-through at this point right now? What's going on right there? No, it's just his rock. All right, we told the story. I mean, Nick, I'm going to give you full credit for this, but uh, uh, there. think of those. Those are adjustments you could make. I actually... Uh... I actually really did just finish exporting them. What just what happened? The um, the the genre project that I was re-editing. Oh yes, okay. Just... Great. Well, let's let's we're gonna watch Brolios next. All right, let's watch Geronimo's joke first. Okay. All right, we're gonna watch Geronimo's. It's big screen. The legitimacy is big screen. Where is it? Yeah, but what's it called? Is it this? No. No. Put it in date modified, right? It is in date modified. Oh, you saved it to downloads? I think so. Unless I did desktop. What's it called? Is it just called like iPhone? Yeah, just... yeah those never work date modified because they're when did you make it? So it's gonna be the date no, that it was last uh... updated. Send it to me F -A -F -A -I. again. F A I F F A I. Let's do this. Okay, we're gonna open in photos. I think. No. Okay. Send it one more time. Except save to downloads. There it is. 2019, we would have to look. Okay. Yeah. Oh, geez. <laughs> All right. Okay. Here we go. Here's a, yet another video. Here's here's Geronimo's green screen project. <laughs> okay that's pretty good um yeah well that that was real what do you mean acting why was the why was the tv studio this dirty You were trying to make me fall on purpose? Yes, All right. So glad we watched that. Let's watch Brawlios now while you <laughs> look at whatever joke you want to share us. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. Grief is non-negotiable, and I have notes for you. All right. Let's share our Zoom. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the yeah. Now imagine this feeling right now, but in the 400, 200 people. Oh. <laughs> you, know, you know how much of a heart attack you're gonna have? It's all right, man. Here we go. Oh, hi, Jake. How have you been? Good, Jake. Have you considered going to the uh, support group we've been talking about? I think it might be really good for you to hear other people's stories. Jake, have you been to Amanda's grave recently?
unidentified body discovered near wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident. <laughs> along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Kinnick Meadow Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan and had uh, swerved off the road and struck a tree. Spokesman for the police commented that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigation. Hi, uh, I'm Jake. Hi, Hi Jake. Jake. I lost someone very dear to me. She was the love of my life. This is, uh, this is where we first met. I'm usually distracting myself, but, uh, I've been thinking about you a lot lately. I, I've been doing better. I've been doing better. I will always love you, man. What do we think? You know, music does a lot. Music, music helps a lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, let's stop or share. Uh, 
<laughs> well, shit, he wins is what Aaron <laughs> says. Um, uh, uh, really good, says Michael. Great. Um, uh, like the music a lot, says Mateo. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I like it a lot too. And really great job for one week, uh, basically filmed it in a week and edited it and it's, uh, farther along than mine is, uh, 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 but, um, uh, definitely some areas for adjustments for the, for the showcase to make it even better. Okay. Uh, let's, I'm going to share again and let's talk about what, well, first of all, any critical feedback from the people here before I go into what I'm going to say? Um, if you want to go on a Zoom call and we can just work on the audio. That's what I and yeah. it, it, you, what you have already is like really solid. Mm -hmm. Just a tad bit more. Um, mm -hmm. it, that's just more time. That's oh. all it is. Um, so if you just want to go on a Zoom call and start talking about that stuff, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, how do you convert a uh, log red uh, log footage to um uh like a, your the the Premiere Pro uh color space? Because it looks like it's a log, especially in the scene. Well, uh, when you pull them into Premiere, you should have the option of pulling in the log or the actual file. It doesn't convert it to like seven nine. No, I don't believe it does. Okay, because like in DaVinci, you could go in your project settings and, and change it. Yeah, you, yeah, you go from yeah, you alternate. To, uh, I think you have to uh, you have to pull you have to pull in the right one. So, um, uh, but you could replace. You just go in and you relink the media to the proper areas. So, um, again, I'm not like a red expert. So I I work with mostly non red stuff. So. Uh, um, but again, in, in this scene, it looks like a couple of the shots that looks like it's still in log footage, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. which is a lower resolution. Like it's a it's a more a preview, which we can help you fix for sure. Which because had Marty help me export this version too. We're still trying to figure out. So what uh, you know when saying log, what it uh, what it looks like, right? Log footage. I don't see. So that's log right there. It looks like you did a little bit of color coloring, but there's a gray tint over across of it. And so what it is, it's supposed to uh, preserve your uh, colors. And so it makes everything black. So what you're supposed to do is that you convert it to log. So you take your red and log footage color slider. Then you say, I want to change it to Rec 79. So where it's going to be this certain spectrum, it's like a triangle spectrum mm -hmm. of colors. And so by converting it into that, um, All right. there's there's different types of color sciences where it's much larger, but Rec 7 and 9 is the most common space that is used in TV and film. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's one of the, the things that um, I, I could just see right off the but there. I saw you reacting to like the sound like jumping from one to the voice to the other. I was trying to do like oh yes, I I, I I I did that uh with smoke and mirrors. Um so I learned another technique that what we can do is that I guarantee that you can see here, Jason. Look, the different this is like oh, okay. the file sources here. Mm -hmm. Um and then when you pull them into Premiere, it you can select all of those. Mm -hmm. Um so there's a thing called a pan. So uh, if you're looking at, if you're imagining it as like a, a line and it's going left to right. And so if you could uh, say, I want it to be like halfway between the right, it'll um, on your stereo source, it'll be on your left a little bit, but very low. That's what music does all the time. So when we're looking here, right? Like, I'll let it load. Okay, cool. We can see that you can see when they all come in, they all look exactly the same, but it's different codecs that are going on here. So, okay. Uh, okay, and you're talking about panning? 
Mm -hmm. So in our audio, our sound, our pans right here oh. in audio, and you can pan left or right if you want to do that oh. intentionally. Um, yeah, you had mono. So it was only here and then it went over there mm -hmm. and you jumped over there. Okay, we lost somebody in our Zoom, I think. Okay, let's stop the share and say goodbye to Cameron. Uh, all right. Um, all right. Zoom. Let's uh, share again. Uh, let's just do this and let's look at our quick time here. Okay. All right. Yeah, I also think it's it's partially the coloring too. Like, um, but yeah, I, I know what Jason's saying. Mm -hmm. um, okay, first and foremost, uh, why are we seeing Grant so much? Because... This is all. When I was looking at the the clips of Andre. There wasn't like really like a lot of good like uh, reactions. Well, I mean, he's sitting there like zoned out or whatever. Do you have him just sitting there zoned out? Like, I would almost start with like seeing him first and foremost. And also, let's watch this scene again. Oh, hi, Jake. Have you been? Good. Okay. Hi, Jake. How have you been? Did he just walk in? What? I'm going to tell you right now. I don't think this line is necessary in the slightest for your story. No. I don't even like. Jake, have you considered going to the uh, support group we've been talking? I think you start with just seeing. Andre mm -hmm. sitting there like you even have it in the wide shot. Do you have the I don't know how much of you have of the close up here. No, yeah, we have kind of some just him standing there like whatever, like just sitting there looking and then Good. then Jake, have you and going to this line, having this be the first line almost like mm -hmm. I I it feel like to me and this is a problem, is it feels like this is the start of the scene. So we have to say, hi. also, Grant says Jake every single time, every single one of his lines, he says the name Jake. Hi, Jake, how are you? Jake, have you considered going to the support group? And then his next yeah. line, he's going to say yeah, Jake yeah. again. Considered going to the uh, support group we've been talking about. I think it might be really good for you to hear other people's stories. Jake. Have you been to Amanda's grave recently? Okay. This is what I would probably do. Considered going to the... Uh... I would maybe start with the two... Um, I don't know. Starting with the grant feels weird, too. Um, I think of starting off with uh, Andre and then going to Grant. Yes. Because uh, we were doing that. It started off in the two shot, but it felt too open for what he's trying to tell. Okay. I, well, then for sure, start with Andre because it's Andre's story. It's from his point of view. Like we're seeing the ghost because it's his imagination. I'm assuming that's the story. Um, or is it a real yeah, ghost? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the judges and I had the that discussion whether or not it was a real ghost or not. I, and I and but the way I interpret it is it's not a real ghost. Um, although things move, but whatever. Um, uh. But okay. That would be cool. Like use it, yeah. And then it comes into him. Consider going to the. Uh, and then he hears Jake. Do you consider going to that support group we've been talking, yeah. talking about? Yeah. Start with him, just like kind of zoning out. Um, and then like Jake. Okay. And then he, uh, this. All of this is good. Do you have a different version of this shot? Yeah, I, I'm... This is out of focus. Was it you, Jason? I don't yeah. know. Okay. I assume so. But yeah, I don't know if it's like you're using the log or whatever. Like, check the focus. Mm -hmm. This one is big time, especially on the big screen. Soft, for sure. Look at his neck. 
And this one too is like one of your where color. This room is different. Is it supposed to be? So a freaking the color just I don't know what happened while we're warm before. cold exported. warm cold yeah when I exported some colors did not export when they well out. every version I've seen is this shot specifically so does your version look different than this yeah when it's on the timeline it's completely different color okay great well then maybe that's the the um issue we've been having so it, it just doesn't make sense that it's this and, one specific shot you know, always the I. I was aiming for a bluish tint and it's mm -hmm. yellow and it should not have been yellow. That's, that's interesting. Okay. Because I think I mentioned to you like, oh, the blue or the colors were just not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like right here, I was aiming for blue. And then here should have been more blue as well. But Yeah, but now it's orange. Yeah. yeah I, Which felt like, okay, it's later at night, but um, okay. Let me tell you another quibble I have. So you understand my notes. You don't have to take any of my notes, but I'm telling you like what I think. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. Why is this N lowercase? You see, when I <laughs> when I was like writing on the Google Docs and my script, whatever, it just automatically when I wrote down non-negotiable, it I had negotiable capitalized, and it was like, no, you're wrong. D capital. So I was like, I guess. Spell out like that. It, Capital N. Okay, I'll do it. It's a title. It's doing it for like a sentence. This is a title. Because yeah, even for me, I was like, that was wrong. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. Uh yeah. My wife watched this and oh, she's in good. she's an English yeah. uh major, an English teacher. <laughs> and Grant Grant is an English teacher too. And they both agreed, like make they're like. Tim, when you talk to Braulio, number one, get that, fix that N. And I'm like, yeah, all right. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if it means something. And Grant even, Grant even said that when he looked at your script, he fixed it. And then you changed it back. When I, when I typed it out on Google Doc, it was like, well, yeah, well, the, the AI isn't always right. Um, okay. Dissolves the passage of time. I'm happy with that. This is very cool. But yeah, differently colored yeah. scene. Like it should have been like this. <laughs> okay. This is going to be my note. <sighs> have you tried cutting a little quicker? Yeah, I almost feel like unidentified. Right. I almost feel like <laughs> her pulling back feels weird to me. Mm -hmm. Like if it's an imposing monster, why like Ooh. oh and then you like he's going to move far enough. I know it's part of his grief, but like I don't know if you need there's just like I think yeah. it will impact yeah. it a little bit better. We get that the sense that he's moving. We'll get that it makes sense with the edit. I just, the four times I've watched this now, every time I'm like, oh, that just so, doesn't feel paced right to me for something scary. Are you thinking scary. of having it hurt hair or anything like that? Because there's a way. I, know I don't even need it to linger. Like, I feel like, and cut. And it, you cut, like, that's, half a second that's like 10 frames probably mm -hmm. and i think it just impacts it more because because now we know that the monster isn't like hesitantly pulling away mm -hmm. oh hey look in there um uh Unidentified body just my instincts as an editor is like there's something there Yeah, you heard the audio go from here to there, right? Yeah. 
Thank you. Thanks, Ron. Yeah, I'll be here. Yeah, I would keep it because the shop from the day. From a white tail skier, a hunting that should be a little bit of a second of him getting to bed. This works for me. This shot could be maybe a little darker, to be honest, because now he's under the sheets. At least, like, you know, like, where's this light source coming from if this is him under the sheets, right? Obviously a light, because we need to see yeah. it. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, here's a question. Yeah. This was an interpretation. What's he watching, just the news? I know it's you, but... Like in story, what's he watching? Yeah. It's just like a random YouTube video. Okay. All right. Yeah. We had audience members who were like, oh, he's he's watching he's watching over and over again the report of his wife's death. I'm like, oh, that? And you might consider like reworking the audio. Uh that was funny because that on I was looking for a YouTube video to play for him. The audio for him to watch and mm -hmm. I'm afraid of getting my copyright so you I, just did i used one of my own sure oh so that's where it's from okay yeah and it's it's because uh it's a horror game and like i have yeah. to read like news articles oh okay it was creepy okay. back to the car see I look the, the, i mean i know the lights are okay so here's my question the lights got turned off mm -hmm. in the room mm -hmm. so it's darker under the sheets now yes and it's also a different color under the sheets now. They're, they both should have been just this. yellow. Yeah, they both should have been blue because or and this would be more. They should be darker. Blue, okay. Yeah. Um, well, this shot for sure is messed up. Color? Yes. The blacks are really crushed mm -hmm. and it's way almost green yellow at this point. Like it's supposed to be nighttime now. The light's on, right? Like why is it different looking than it is when he's in at, at this point? You see what I'm saying? Everything looks better. Okay. Well, look at this. Yeah, like that's, that's way cool. weird. So if these are issues, these are for sure like yeah. color issues. You could make this a little better, to be honest. Like, look at his head size versus where your cut is. Yeah, it's close, but not exact. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, you can, I mean, you're cropping in on this shot, I'm pretty sure, already. But look, he, smaller head, bigger head, smaller yeah, head, bigger head. head. Yeah, match it. Mm -hmm. yeah, that one. I, the note I heard about this, and I'll tell you the note because it, other people said it, mm -hmm. but I don't agree with it. They said it was confusing. They didn't get that he was sitting there watching the door the whole night. Mm -hmm. I totally get that the colors change yeah, and like yeah. it's night, well, it's daytime now. Um, this doesn't bother me at all. And I even said that in the scene. I'm like, oh, I get it. <laughs> And like you're going from like a horror trope to like now uh, 
Like we're thinking, oh, is it a ghost type of thing? Mm -hmm. All right. There's like Foley needed still too. Yeah. Something with a door for sure. Or the handle. Sounded clipped right there. Audio in between here. Totally goes away in between. There's just like a silent part right there. So overlay the ambient noise. This is just the natural boom mic. There's ambient. But you could just drag that boom audio to go over this one as well and then it layers thank you so much for sharing okay who would like to go next thank you so much for sharing hi uh i'm jake hi, hi jake. jake i lost someone is there an issue in this shot there is the reason I kept it, it is the best performance. Plus the fact that- Okay, who would like to go next? There's another, there's another tape. Yeah. Oh. Hi, uh, I'm Jake. Yeah, I'm hoping that's the time. Hi, Jake. Especially because we're just um, Maybe push back a little. I lost someone. Yeah, that too, that too. I, I, I forgot to do that. Um, You can see the law by his sock. Oh. I never noticed it one time. Uh, yeah. Either I'll mess around and see problem. Okay, who would like to go next? Uh, no, I don't think anyone would get it uh, other than knowing and looking. It, it, it's totally not distracting, it, and it's not what it's not even the focus. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, I would say if you're gonna crop anything, you're two shot with Grant and him. Uh, Grant's shoes are weird. Um, uh, it was, and that's a big issue for Grant. Like he brought it up. Like, I don't know if I would have noticed, but also I'm like a foot phobic person. So uh -huh. I don't look at feet almost, uh, uh intentionally. Hi, uh, so I'm Jake. Hi, Hi Jake. Jake. I lost someone very dear to me. She was the love of my life. Just like Jason, this is a personal preference thing. But why one month? It was like a passage of time that I thought. Sure, was but in. but why not two months? Why not six months? Why not because twenty-seven for, months? What does that one, mean? One month is a good passage of time for me that the character is getting better, but he's not totally over. Is it is it necessary to tell the audience that it's been one month? I don't know. I think I was just like hand holding the audience. I'm just I'm just asking questions. Mm -hmm. Does it feel like it should be a month to you? I mean, obviously, you put that in. Mm -hmm. Does do we need that information? If it's just the dissolve and the dissolve up, we understand that it's the passage of time. Do you think people are going to honestly think it's the next day? Is that the problem? Do you think it's going to be two weeks later? That would be too short? I think so. Okay, I'm just asking you to justify your choice. Um, yeah, I, I try to differentiate this scene. Yeah, this is the thing. Now. Okay, do you have another take of this? Do I have another take? Yes. 
Yeah, I think we have one with the safety. We did not have a lot for this last. Season. I'm just wondering. He looks. Do you mean him to look in the lens? Maybe. Yeah, I I don't think he looked into the lens. I think he was just offset. Watch it. It's enough to make me think, is he looking in the lens? And if for a person who's going to watch it one time, mm -hmm. I'm just saying your other take, I would look, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would look if you're happy with it, if that's the intention, it's, it's enough to be able to argue, well, he doesn't technically, but mm -hmm. if someone's going to be like, well, I watched it one time and I'm a hundred percent sure he looked in the lens at one point, that'll be something that people will think. Yeah. I just bring it up. You don't have to take any advice I uh, I don't have. Or this is uh, this is where we first met. I'm usually distracting myself, but uh... how about do you do this monologue in the the whole monologue in the wide as well, or do you just have you like how much coverage do you have? Okay. Thinking about you a lot. Right? The monologue in the line. But I feel like that will stay in the line. And then... Well, here's my question. Yeah. No, 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 no. Right. I'm usually distracting myself, but. Uh... I've been thinking about you a lot. Right? <laughs> I almost feel, and this could be wrong, I don't know what your footage looks like. Mm -hmm. I almost feel like I've been thinking about you a lot lately. And then do you have him like sad sitting on an empty bench? Like the wide shot or a medium? And then cutting to giving it a beat of like him sitting there and then cutting to the hand coming up and touching him. Right. With that, I, what I was aiming for? Or? No, I'm asking if you had, had, I would consider playing and adding a beat in here, almost like. I'm usually distracting myself, but. Uh, I've been thinking about you a lot. Right? Just go to a wide of him sitting on the bench thinking about her, and then cut back to the thing, and the hand comes in. Mm -hmm. It just like might impact be, it might be more of like a punch or mm -hmm. might be more impactful. This shot works mm -hmm. and his performance is really good here. I've been doing better. I've been doing better. I will always love you, man. Your music, there's a cut there. That's a bad music edit right there. Are, are, are you seeing the beat? Does it match? It, the there's a cut. I can hear the edit. Watch. You hear that part? Is there an edit there, Brawley? He's smiling because, yes, there is. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a cross dissolve or a cross fade in there? No, I tried doing it and it's try, very noticeable. Try five frame cross. 
Try that to see if it is. That's a very noticeable part of that song, though. Um, and it's kind of you need to either like move it a little bit and give it a little bit more breath. Um, because your remember music is in a four time signature and your edits like three and a half. And I'm like, like Jason hasn't heard it yet. Listen to it again, Jason. Yeah, but that's an edit because. Oh, okay. Watch. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Oh, see, there's like almost a second, right? Like, so I would say you probably need to move it farther back a little bit and dissolve because the one note isn't fully out and and you should what i would always do when i edit audio like that uh i think i did this today uh uh file open recent let's look at my all right Sorry, I, I, I'm a mouse editor, so um, all right, right here. Let's check this out, um, and we don't need to look at it. Um, yeah. All right. Yes, okay. All right. Just seeing the audio edit right there. Look, I'm using a con. Uh, now my song is less, is much more faster than yours. And that's the end of the song, right? But if I wanted to make this more. You hear that audio edit now, right? So. When I'm editing audio, I almost like, this is where you can get in trouble if you're trying to cut to your video or mag something match perfectly unless the audio is designed that way. So looking at the waveforms are always a good indicator. So I'm looking at the beats, especially with a song like this. So I'm seeing that like, hey, if here's, here's like a beat. Um, so I'm actually gonna like take it from right here and try to mash it up. All right, let's try to make it a little bit better. And we're working with frames now at this point. Did we do it? Did we? It sounds better. And let me tell you 100% when you're editing audio, I almost close my eyes and look away because you can see, like I see the edits. Sounds pretty close, right? Like I took a song and randomly chose beat for beat. Mm -hmm. Now different instruments are gonna come in there. Yours is gonna be slower because it's less tempo. Yeah. So you just need to find that moment and the way looking at the waveforms are really there. And, and sometimes you can also get away with um, using your constant power here. You would want to use constant power, but also, you know, obviously the longer it is, that sounds worse because it's layered over each other. But if you do it short, that's an audio edit that's invisible. Like no one's ever gonna notice that. Unfortunately, with what we're watching with yours, 100% heard that one. Written and directed oh. by. Unless you want to see your name twice. It's your prerogative. Oh, <laughs> oh and for, uh, 
Oh, proceed. proceed, yeah. I was like, what am I writing? Oh, I yeah. Just took whatever you wrote. And I was like, all right, I'll show you. But yeah, I'll do it directly. It's, it's fine if you want to see your name a no, bunch of times. Exactly. I mean, I'm not even put my name. Just be like some random character. Well, like Jordan Tarantino. Right. Well, well, here's the thing about movies. It is because of unions, they have to like legally put the names yes. separate like that, or his is together, right? Yeah. Like because he did does both. It doesn't always happen, but. In our short films, we do a lot, right? Like, uh, so think of that. That's just a, a thing to consider. So, um, I would always do like, well, when it's like all, if it was all three in a row, maybe, but I think it's fine. Editor here is fine. But I mean, it's all preference. I, if it was me, uh, and it, on mine, it's gonna say written, directed by Tim Allen. Is gonna be I'm gonna do that. So for me, should I put like uh, 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 directed, written, VFX, edited? <laughs> well, that's the thing. Yeah. Do you wanna you wanna see if you wanna see your name a bunch of times? Fine, but like. You know, over the line, like, so it is directed, written, produced. Those are the mm -hmm. top three that you always do. And then cast and then all the below the line stuff. Um, but overall, this is really strong, really strong piece. Yeah, should be proud. Thank you. Yeah, just minor. I mean, yeah. we want it to be as good as possible by next weekend, not this weekend, next weekend, right? I was making my head, but I tried to remind myself that like, it was my first time. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's the thing about art is there's always, and we're all going to notice the little flaws that yeah. that bother us. It's, it's, it hurts. Like, that's, I get anxiety anytime I edit anything I work on myself because mm -hmm. I know it's not as perfect as I want it or it's not how it was in my head. Yeah. But ultimately, like, you know, they say art is, uh, art is never finished it's abandoned and yeah it's like well, we want to make it as good as possible yeah. and it's going to feel good when you show it at the showcase and 400 people watch it and clap and talk to you after the show about how what they liked about it or what they didn't like about it you should be proud andre is great in this okay. uh i also think zoe's great in this um so yeah performances are good grant's good in this uh no honestly his performance is pretty decent um uh uh yeah i would just less a grant to be mm -hmm. honest and especially don't don't make it his first thing because honestly also you have to remember that I, i'm just telling you as like we're gonna watch this at the film showcase and grant's character like uh i forget where this is gonna play in the showcase but just know that at this point grant could have been a demon monster grant could have grant could have like walked past the homeless lady grant grants in yeah. four or five different things so that's the only problem with the showcase is we, Trevor. <laughs> we no oh, grants oh, grants in that one too right, right. yeah he's he actually we really like that part like he does a little face thing that's really funny um so it's one of those like yeah it's a small cast but um uh or it's a small program but for sure and grant being the teacher and or me we're the most notable faces of the program so it's like it's hard to suspend your disbelief when everyone's like grant you know like that's the only problem is yeah. yes yeah that was the thing when watching leaving uh, for last semester people started laughing because it was grant i was like oh <laughs> like that's that's an interesting thing to just kind of like realize it's like is it the editing or is it because it's grant as that character it's I, mean, you know. I think it's because it's grant to be yeah. honest and yeah. that's that's a hard thing to separate yeah. especially when you know the person mm -hmm. so that but so if you show it to an audience of people who don't know who grant is it it's definitely yeah. interesting yeah. so and and by the way i thought the cut of leaving is really good yeah. uh really good um so uh really strong i'm gonna stop the share and uh any comments on for Braulio? uh 
Or do we, oh, I'm the only participant left. So, okay. Jason, don't create one. And I have an idea that's right for another one. Uh, you 